with the eyes of the world turned on Abyssinia, the military activities of the Central European powers are passing almost unnoticed, but they are nonetheless significant. The Italo-Abyssinian clash has proved to the world that the shadow of war cannot be dispelled by any political machinery that man may devise. So in Poland, on land which formerly belonged to Germany, the Polish army tests its organization in battle practice, ready to defend its country against a possible aggressor. In Hungary too, among the Vertes mountains, the newly mechanized army is on the move. Watching the manoeuvres are Regent Horte and Minister of War General Gumbush. In Vienna too, they're testing the organisation to deal with air raids. When the siren sounds, it's take cover from the deadly attackers. Within a few moments, the streets are clear, while everyone takes refuge in gas-proof rooms. Only one man refuses to leave his post, and that's the Pathé cameraman who took these pictures. And when the invader has passed, the work of the newly formed gas defense brigade starts. When enemy machines drop mustard gas bombs, the streets will be running with liquid poison and immediate steps have to be taken to clear them. The world may be watching the war in Africa, but Central Europe believes that preparation is the best means of preventing